Aloha to our global community out there. We are back in our backyard with, with Jeff Ha and Justin yeah. and me. This is our little crew that we have, our little film crew that we put together when we made something that we feel is pretty special. Jeff's idea. We decided to make a, a film in a 72 hour film challenge. Jeff, tell us about the 72 hour challenge what it entails because it was all your idea. I had no idea this existed in life. And when you told me about it, it just sounded fun. I thought it sounded like a student project, which mm -hmm. I like, but it ended up being so much more than that. So the 72 hour film challenge is put on by the Hawaii Filmmakers Collective, which is a Honolulu based nonprofit organization that just gets filmmakers together and uh, mixes it up, you know, builds the community around them so they can get to know each other, stuff like that. I said, hey, let's let's give this a shot. I think it'd be a great, uh, just creative exercise for us. And, mm -hmm. um, exactly. So that was the root of it. Creative exercise, that's a good description of that, what it ended up being. Having a challenge, having this sort of like time trial where you don't even have time to overthink it and mm. you have to just kind of like, make something up and go with it and just to be challenged to work together as a team and create art for art's sake mm -hmm. sounded really mm -hmm. really refreshing but that's why i think i was excited to put it on our youtube because that's how our youtube started was just for the sake of like let's just do something without any sort of direction i guess yeah, it's just our organic little baby but yeah. this time we only have 72 hours to conceptualize it, produce it, film it, edit it, and deliver it. Yeah. With that short period to create something to finish, I felt like the flow state that it put us in was really cool because as you touched on, you don't have time to overthink it. We had no creative preparation done ahead of time. The mm -hmm. only preparation we did was clearing our schedules. Jeff brought his tent and he wanted to camp out in the yard and really be committed. Yeah. And then at four o'clock on a Friday, we got the rules. First rules is five minutes or less. Um, and then the three that you learn on Friday that kind of guide the film is the, the, the theme, which is community, was community strength. Um, and then it has to include a line, which was every moment is a new beginning. And then it also had to include a, two props, which was a feather and string. And those were the entire guidelines for the film. And you had to complete it in 72 hours, turn it in. So we learned that at 4 p.m. on a Friday. We had to turn it in Monday at 4 p.m. Just that already makes me smile. There's something about that part that I just love. And that's like when you first told me about this challenge and you like learned that you're going to be assigned a line of dialogue props all these things that every single person entered in this challenge has to use there's just something very exciting about that right now my home island of maui is not in a good place and because of all the wildfires and i was going home and pretty much just doing community service and fire relief and my brain was so overwhelmed with that that i thought i wasn't going to have anything creative to give but when i heard the theme being community strength which i'm sure which they even said they did it because of the times that we're in. They didn't want to cancel this, so instead they decided to try and do something that, that made sense to these times. And, um, and it's what we all need right now. We need more messages of you know, celebrating community strength or however you want to take that theme. And um, for me, that was already revitalizing and inspiring. And so as soon as we got those things, um, the three of us separated and we all just started writing down things. Which How did that feel to you guys? I had writer's block at first. I kind of freaked out. Yeah, for me it was like 10 minutes of just staring at a blank page. Yeah. <laughs> and I was like, okay, well then, if I'm not going to have an idea, I started writing questions and then answers, uh. right? What does community look like? What does it feel like? What is, just to just get the juju flowing. And then nice. that helped me ease into like first idea, second idea, and then mm -hmm. start to come up with ideas that were actually fleshed out. So. I started listening to music when I really couldn't go anywhere. I was just like, I need to put on some music and like, mm. I mean, even if you, you don't know how to even work a camera, you can still be a part of something like this because it is a cool, totally. a cool art form. For me, I, I, I um, had major writer's block and it wasn't music or questions that got me out of it. It was just straight up fear. And then I just realized like, if we just do something totally, completely fictional, all of a sudden it's dawned on me that I have no idea how to act. 
you know, that I am not an actress. And I, I kind of thought, oh, maybe it's something I could wing. And then all of a sudden, I just felt like really like, no, <laughs> like, that might be terrible. <laughs> like, I can't go to, down that road too now we far all, yet. Now we all want to know. <laughs> and, um, and then I thought, no problem, I'll find actors. And then I was just like, you didn't even think about this. You don't know, you don't know any, like, local actors. You know, you don't, that's not. Yeah, we don't deal with actors. I don't hang out with actors. I mean, <laughs> yeah. I would love to, but I don't know any. And then I was just like, Kimmy, but what story would you write? And the more I thought about it, I'm just like, the theme is community strength. If we are living that story every single day. So that's when one of my ideas came through that I felt was the strongest, which was fried rice. And when we all got together and shared our ideas, that was really fun to me because I loved every single one. Um, but we all settled upon fried rice because it was kind of the most complete thing. And it was also just the most um, community strength driven. This is definitely I think the that strongest story for the, for the theme. theme. Yeah. yeah. So I think that's what ultimately we're like, this is the best. Mm -hmm story that fits that so let's yeah. let's let's go with that um, it was just like this baby <laughs> that like mm -hmm. that we all created we didn't assign any roles of like director this or that but every scene somebody just somehow stepped up i've never experienced that before where you were all three of us without saying anything co-directed it so cohesively i also just think that the way that you put in Simon's music. Simon is a very good friend of ours. Yeah, no, um, super talented musician. I met him through Jack Johnson. It just it's something about it. I was like, wow, this is perfect. Yeah, it's Simon's just felt, and Maybe it is because it's, you know, influenced by him living here in this community, mm -hmm. but whatever it was, it was just like the perfect. The other, the, the biggest challenge I would say would be Buddy. That was the wild card, man, where it's like, <laughs> I thought we had everything down of like, having all of our contributors say yes and give us time but then when those final time like moments of shooting buddy and realizing you cannot make a three-year-old do anything they don't want to do on camera if they don't want to do it and then we went to the film festival it was amazing watching every single film was just so fun it was i was like absolutely giddy i think i think our whole team was just to see how other creatives mm use these same instructions and it ended uh, with us winning the grand prize so cheers to that you guys oh, i know it's not about yeah, winning really but cool. it really does make me really proud yeah. of us that we yeah. get that honor you know yeah no you're spot on i don't think we did this to win but to have that recognition it's like whoa all right that's it's that's not just us really that good. likes it yeah, yeah. exactly yeah. and so without further ado we hope that you really enjoy the next four and a half minutes because now you know all the hard work and heart and all the different people who put their time into it. And, um, and we just did it to do it. We did it to celebrate community and we hope it makes you feel happy too. Should I start? One day a fisherman went out to sea to catch some fish for her family. The ocean was beautiful as she started to roam in search for some fish to bring back home. When she shoots her spear, it's like making a wish, and on this day, she caught three fish. The lo'is of Kalo replenish our land, and this Kalo farmer does it all by hand. Working hard. Yes, girl, as always. Mahalo so much for the poi you gave us. You're that was welcome. so good. <laughs> the water was beautiful today, so I got a fish for you and Steven. Just wanted nice. to drop it off. Oh, mahalo. You got some smoked meat that he made. Some of Steven's smoked yes. meat? Oh, that's my favorite. When the woodworker looks at fallen trees, he gets visions of treasure that no one else sees. What do you think, Stitch? Thank you. 
And though he doesn't know what he'll eat tonight, his heart is full and smile bright. Was oh, that for me? <laughs> no, it's Britt's birthday. Oh, Hi, Stitch. Shoot. Is that for me? This is. My new cutting board. Yeah. Mango? Mango from my mail. Thank you so much. Of course. No problem. Hi, Stitchy. Oh, yeah, you need a little flower, don't you? Oh, Andre, grab a fish from my truck before you go. Sweet. The dragon fruit queen tends to her field as she hopes and she prays for a generous yield. She's counted only two ripe fruit by the day's end, but she still always shares when she sees a friend. Because you have a knife. <laughs> Happy belated birthday, Oh my Brit. gosh, thank I'm you. I'm sorry, I missed it. Looks like you're having a great season. All these yeah. green ones about to ripen. It is. We've got some buds over here, and we actually have some red ones here. Thank you for this. Oh, the red one, that's so pretty. I got a fish in my truck if you want it. I love that. Sweet. The fish? You want fish? Hmm. Well, we might have to have some fried rice instead. Dragon fruit? <laughs> this is some leftover rice. You know what I love about leftovers? What? I love that leftovers can turn into a whole new meal that they never were before. They actually teach you that every moment is a new beginning. You should remember that. The fisherman didn't have any fish that day, simply because she gave them away. But that doesn't mean they have nothing to eat because sharing with others makes us complete. No picking, buddy. Open them. The hard work of the community was all on their plate and it filled them with love with every bite that they ate. <laughs>